and going on air in three, two, one. Intensity is high. You know, it's one game. The next game could be completely different. And so that's why you want to try to continue, you know, no matter what the score is, to try to play the right way, continue to have emotion, have the, you know, the right intent when you're out there because uh, it does carry over to the next game. guys we're back this all for us all That's yeah sweet. we're back we're in action we're live we're looking around and communicating well and uh we're here uh my name is fuzzy hello i am one of the hests of this podcast which is called fuzz jock radio and i'm not the only hest here we also have a hest all the way out in california and their name is C-dubs! And we have another Hest all the way in Minnesota, and their name is... Hey, I'm Jamez. This is Fuzz Jock Radio. We are Hests. That's correct. <laughs> Norwegian horses. Norwegian horses. That's it's awesome. Uh, it's a great time. No, 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 no. We talked about that last week, dude. We're, 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 we're like commandeering the word and making it our own. And it's also not just horses, but it also is uh, in the fuzz jock, fuzz jock radio world. It's uh, also Hest, it, or I mean host, host, right? Yeah, it, it doubles as host. Essentially, I mean it's not it's not really a replacement for host either, because none it's of a us new are type hosts. Of thing. Yeah, it's a new thing, right? Is that yeah? Is that, that's okay to do. I think we can make up our own words and Absolutely. word usages, right? Is that is that yeah. something that we can do? Well, we did it. I mean, it's I, already been done. I mean, I call people fuzz no take jockers. And the, the listeners are fuzz jockers, and I don't think we that was that a name before too? that. Before we, mm. oh man, just your casual wordsmithing. Just a reminder: we are not <laughs> a dictionary podcast. We are a sports podcast. If you want us to uh, transition into a dictionary podcast, we can definitely do that. Um, I think can pull that off. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, season eight, episode three. Should we come into be a diction? Ooh, ooh. Email us and let us know yeah. if we should do that. If we, if you'd James, like as us you check the email, make sure we get change. the responses. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Print, print them all mm-hmm. out. The email is fuzzjockradio at gmail dot com. And uh, go for it. It's, and uh, we will <laughs> uh, we'll look into it. If that's, but that's only if the fuzz jockers want it, right? Yes. Only uh, if they give us overwhelming support for the Dictionary Podcast. That is a real email. Uh, fuzzjockradio at gmail.com. And this is a real offer. We'll turn into a Dictionary Podcast if we get overwhelming support that they want us to do that. We'll just start reading from the Dictionary every episode. Yes. Yep. And uh, but, uh, at, the, at the same time, I was going to also mention that if they want to send us in some fan fan art, we, we'll, we'll show it. Uh, We'll show it on our show. We'll show it on our show. And we'll show it on the podcast. Yeah, yeah, you can you can hear us looking at it. I don't know if that works. Though. <laughs> we'll do it. We'll do it anyway. Um, don't think we won't. Oh man, uh, do we? Do we need a rewind? I don't. I don't even. Need, uh, I don't even have the rewind yeah. button on. No, we, we got rid of it. Rewind. We're just gonna go. Okay. We, like I like yeah. I said, this is maybe episode two is too soon to do some rewinds, so we'll just keep on going. Like I was actually thinking, man, that was a really good introduction. I have never done a good introduction like that before. So we already did. <laughs> Let's just keep on going, huh? Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the part of the episodes where we talk about our lives, right? So basically, what we've mm-hmm. done this last week. Uh, you know, like, kind of like what we've, what we've accomplished. If we want to talk about accomplishments, uh, I would like to tell our fuzz jockers when we're done with this segment, you don't have to turn it off because we do intertwine some of our life experiences throughout the rest of the episode too. Right. Yep. We know that this is your favorite part. There's a whole reason you tune in, but we promise there's good stuff after. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, right? I don't know. I was thinking of something else. Fuzzy. What? How's your week been? How's my week Whoa. been? What if I asked you first? 
Don't do that. Nope. Not uh, gonna. <laughs> how was my week? Uh, my my week was pretty good. Oh man, I forgot to think about like I, I like I knew. Oh, I uh, had a had a birthday to go to. That was good for my nephew, nice. and he turned one years old. Whoa! And Ooh. that was pretty awesome. Um. Watched a lot of sports. Fun times. And then I want to talk about the sports. Yeah, we'll get to that. In the future. Uh, in the future. Not too far in the future, like in a couple moments. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. C-Dubs, how was your week? What, what's going on? Uh, I, too, watched a lot of sports. I did not celebrate a birthday. Um, but that was the first of any kind. I did not end up having my photo shoot go down on Thursday, which is a total bummer. But whatever. Mm-hmm. So we'll do it another time. Um, so yeah, I just basically been working and chilling when I'm not working, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's been fine. I, I will say all the sports has been really exciting, uh, this, cause there's so it's playoffs and mm-hmm. fucking baseball and there's all sorts of so things much. going on. I mean, there's a lot to watch and you know, my favorite baseball or sport holiday just happened, Jackie Robinson day. So that was fun too. So yeah. Oh, that's yeah. A, that When, when did that happen? Can we, oh, we'll, we'll talk 15th. about that. Okay. Yeah. Is that mm-hmm. okay? Yeah, that's accurate. Mm. That's accurate. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, maybe, maybe we'll talk about that a little bit. That's the news. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Uh, C Dubs, you should ask Jamez. Hey, Jamez, how was your week? Oh, uh, so. Yeah, that's cool. It felt so that uh, way. It's yeah. like we went around. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I knew we're a team. Yeah, team. <laughs> team. team. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my week felt very long, and I feel like mostly just because of all the sports I watched. And I, man, I watched so much of the sports. I feel like I didn't watch anything else. I had to take some breaks, though, to, like, you know, watch my son grow up and <laughs> do, you know, do do the things well, that, that's, that's that's the, that thing that the children do. do. Yeah. Being, being wacky goofers. Yeah. Oh, my nephews, they were wacky goofers this oh, weekend. Man. It's but, such a delight. It, you know, it was really, yeah. <laughs> and it was really nice when... You know, you like you go all the way down to Iowa. You haven't seen them for a little bit. Mm-hmm. That's where they live. Nice. And uh, then you go into the the house, and one of them that doesn't really talk to you a whole lot normally sees you and comes running up to you and hugs you. Uh, and I was yeah. like, "Wow, look at you, little buddy!" And hey, you're happy that I'm here. Sorry, not to hey, hijack your oh, yeah. story. <laughs> Sorry, it's well, kind of hey, hijacked no, your story there. I also uh, saw some extended family in Iowa. Uh, recently as well too, yeah. um, so that was it was nice to see them and um, you know when you don't get to see uh, extended family as often, so it's, it's good. Yeah, yeah. So I've been sportsing, sports and family in, family in, and driving a bit, driving a bit, and and then when I'm not doing that, I'm trying to play Mario Kart. <laughs> hmm. So you you're basically. <laughs> living nascar life if you're not watching sports or you're with your kid yep or family yeah. nascar basically i mean that's that's my life now <laughs> you know love it you know what's interesting is that before this podcast i really didn't watch a whole lot of sports i mean i like kind of kept track of them a little bit here or there but not a whole lot you know i, I wouldn't have like a sports weekend like i did yeah. this last weekend so now I do, oh. yeah, and I enjoy it, and it's nice. It helps when the teams are fun. <laughs> I, I'm I just going to, Even... the last teams just weren't fun enough, probably. Well, it's like I like I turned, I, I changed from going to the bars to just staying at home and watching the games. Yeah. That's nice. I like that. I mean, it has something to do with you know the the blood clot and everything, and watching the twins every every day and falling in love with the twins during that during that time. And I suppose that was before the the podcast. So, yep. just a little it was history. About the birth of the, was, yeah, just before the birth of it. Uh, should we move on? And I, I'm just gonna actually throw it out there too. I didn't mean to call out any fuzz jockers that uh, turn off the episode right at this moment when I'm going to go into the transition of talking about sports and not our life. Do people turn off that? I don't know. No, don't turn off then. This is okay. Now it's time for the main oh, event, hold on, which be- is sports. Be- be- before I do, oh, I, I got I forgot that I knew that. 
We're gonna do. Oh, oh I oh said boy. I wasn't gonna do that again. Oh, wow! Look at look what he's doing. He's wow! Look at that! Oh my gosh! This is huge. You can't see it, but man, this is amazing what he's doing right now. This yeah. is wow! Before we wow. go into the sports, I should put on my sports hat, right? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. that's what we should do. Now you're ready. But uh, yep. once again, I'm not trying to call out any of my our fuzz jackers out there because um, we we wish you the best. We want you to have a fun journey on the sports train. And if it's just wanting to know about our lives, that's fine. And it's okay to turn it off right about uh, what what topic Tomorrow. we're going to go into first. We're going to, oh, yeah. we need a roulette, like a uh, roulette sound. Oh, we're doing this? The oh, Okay. Um, instead Who of, knows what sports instead we're going to do? Instead of knowing graphs. what sport we're going to do, we're going to do a roulette sound. Yeah. Roulette. Roulette? Isn't it roulette? <laughs> Rul roulette? Think it a bro roulette. Roulette. R roulette? Roulette? A roulette? Ro roulette. A baguette? Well, the uh, blind refs, who have been make doing a good job of making our sound bits, uh, will, uh, you know, they'll know what we're talking about, right? They're so yeah. good. So here's the roulette sound, and we don't know what topic we're going to go into until right about now. Buzzcock Radio. The NBA theme, here's an idea, it goes like this. Okay, NBA. Buzzcock Radio. It's a, good, it's a good one to talk about first because they're in the playoffs right now. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, the NBA playoffs are happening right now. This, that's yeah. great news because that means we won the play-ins. Yes. Oh, spoiler. Well... Oh, no. <laughs> Maybe we should have a spoiler alert uh, sound as well. Ding dong, ding dong. That would be. That would be like the 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 emergency sound on like Star Wars. And then it's like, and then it does the Metal Gear, and, and then does it. Like, and then Jamez goes, spoiler, spoiler alert, spoiler, spoiler alert. Say that. Spoiler, 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 spoiler alert. No, it's um, a spoiler. Oh, okay. Okay, well, okay, so the, uh, yeah, spoiler alert, the the Wolves did win the play-ins. However, the way to get through it was pretty neat. Yeah. They it had, a, okay, go. Cool. Yeah. It, was, it, was, it, was, it was interesting because they, they got in through by playing two games instead of just winning the first one, which mm -hmm. they could have, they could have, you know, they almost did against the Lakers. Yeah. But, Which would have been impressive, but... But the Timberwolves love basketball so much that they wanted to play an extra game. <laughs> they wanted to play another game. Definitely. They didn't want to, like, and tire themselves the Laker, out. <laughs> the Laker game was, like, one of the weirdest games I'd ever seen because at first, most of the game, the Wolves were kind of dominating. Like, they were ahead almost the whole game. And then came the fourth quarter. LeBron and the crew turned it on. They started scoring a lot. We I think the... Wolves only scored 12 points in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they were, and they three were of them, really dry so at the end there. They scored actually nine points until there was 1.4 seconds left on the clock. <clears throat> and that was, they were down by three. Not going to, you know, it was, it, it was pretty much couldn't win the game. It was almost guaranteed Laker win. Uh, they, Wolves have the ball, inbound it right to the far corner. Uh, the They shoot from the three-point line. Totally mm -hmm. miss, but Anthony Davis fouls for some yeah. reason one oh, of our yeah. guys, giving him the chance to throw three free throws. He nails them, and we have overtime. It was freaking weird. Like, so then we was, went into overtime. Yeah, it yeah. was weird. And then we we didn't score many points then either. But it was just it was crazy that they they kept the game going even though they should have lost. Sorry, by you know I don't know they should should not have gone into overtime, but they they were able to push through and. It was neat. It was a good game. It was really weird. It was That's really a, weird. Game. It was a roller coaster of a game. It was a roller Absolutely. coaster where, of a game. where it had a lot of excitement going in, and you know, went into overtime. The, the overtime was man. And so what the, a narrative, right? So the way the play-ins, uh, way the NBA playoffs work nowadays, and this is like the second year that this is at, uh, that they're going. I think this it's like the second year, yeah. Uh, where if you don't make the play-ins or the playoffs, you get to a second, a third. Two chances to get into the playoffs. If like if you're not high enough ranked to get into the playoffs automatically, you get two more. You get two more games. So if you win the first game, 
you go on to the playoffs. If you lose the first game, then you get a second game against a different team who also lost. Yeah. And then if you win that game, you go into the playoffs. And if you lose. So then the second game, since the Wolves lost that first roller coaster of a game against the Lakers mm-hmm. that went into overtime. And remember this for the future. Put just re- just put remember this you don't need to put a pin in it because i was going to say put a pin in it but don't yeah. put a pin in it right now because it's going to be really this this point that i'm going to yeah, make is going to come up pocket. real real quick okay uh mm-hmm. the second game they played the thunder oklahoma city thunder right yes. and that game that was a lot of fun that was a lot of fun too oh boy was that a lot of fun for timberwolves timberwolves right <laughs> yeah <Yep>. specifically timberwolves <laughs> did they handedly play uh beat that beat that team did they handedly Ooh, i feel that like team? that was close to like a 30 point they might have won by like was, 29 or 30 yeah it's like it was over 20 i think 20 point over 20 point victory yeah so so they they kind of on the far end of 20 i'm sure yeah they stuck it to the thunder they looked really good except for ant yeah he ant, couldn't score ant hasn't been looking good any of these games so far no um spoil, and, spoiler alert spoiler alert. uh the the play the playoffs game uh mm-hmm. right, was you know they got into the playoffs game and the ant wasn't looking good in this first game either um against but, the nuggets but okay back to the thunder game yep um what was up with that they, so they won 20 ant wasn't looking that good but the rest of the team was and this also us uh, so, oh wait a minute we didn't even did we talk about gobert and Kyle no, Anderson he, fighting? Yeah, we talked we, about did that. We talk he about did last that? week, yeah. yeah. So you're thinking, wow, whoa, whoa, what's going on? So they lost the first game in the Lakers because, you know, and Gobert was not playing because he was kicked out of the te- out of the team for that game. He was suspended uh-huh. for that game. He was suspended for that game, and he was back in the second game, and you're like, What's going to happen since, he, you know, Kyle Anderson and, you know, t- teammates that just fought are now going to be back on the floor? Well, they right away. Okay, so there's a like there's a clip out there, like right after that first game, when after the game that they fought, they went to the locker room and talked to Kyle Anderson about it, the one that got hit. Mm-hmm. And he goes, dude, it's already a water under the bridge. There was we were we had it was high tension. It's not the first time somebody's punched me. It's whatever. We're teammates. We'll get over it. I'm glad he didn't throw. He didn't like attack his own player. You know that's yeah good. yeah. It was great, and he looked like he didn't care. Like it, it, he really looked like he meant that. So that's cool. You and know? they and they then went on to play really well together. Yes. Uh, Gobert was a, a great part of our win in Oklahoma. Yes, they did. No, that was at home. Anyway, and you know, that was here. Yeah, the yep. I don't know if you heard, the, I don't know if you heard the clip that uh, the the quote for the for the intro. Oh, um, but should that, we hear it again? That was Mike Connolly, and that, that was him actually talking about what. Uh, I don't know if I can play it. No, I I don't want to jump over and ruin the record. I don't have it actually on. Hmm here but mike conley's really awesome though but he's like you know after the, this the playoff game against the nuggets that they lost he said that uh it's just a game it's just one game you know you never know what's going to happen in the next game and that's what they showed in the thunder game and now go up to the playoffs with the nuggets and now we have a series Yes, now we, we yeah. got into the playoffs. Now Another we're in reason, series, yeah. you know, it's just one game because no, we get a series like now. We're in the five playoffs. Five-game series or something like that? I don't, I don't know. Seven. Seven-game series. I think they're all seven. So now he's just like, you know, it's like, sure, they lost by 30 points last night. That's a lot in basketball. Yeah. But it's one game Yeah. out of seven. Yep. And they don't play for another couple of days. They don't play yeah. like till Thursday, you know, Thursday or something like that. So they have they a couple days. Tomorrow. They have a couple days off, which was today and tomorrow. Or I think they play tomorrow. They play tomorrow. Yeah, I think it's just one day. Well, off. they had still, a day, day off. off. They had a day off, and yeah. they did not have a day off after playing the Lakers and then the Thunder and then the Nuggets. 
yeah, it was. So up until this first they, game in the playoffs, they had you know no days off, no days off. Now they're rested, and we're going back. And actually, we're able to look at some game tape and take some time to talk about their strategy. Mm-hmm. The next game is going to be really good. So the next game is going to get be... acclimated to being in the mountains, and maybe they all like tell Ant, "You need to, you need to, you need to do something, Ant. We're all doing something here. We we need you." He should. I mean, even if he can't score right now for us, he should at least be doing like what Westbrook has been do- doing for the Clippers mm-hmm. in the playoffs. Like Westbrook hasn't been doing very well scoring, and that's you know kind of the book on him is that he's lately been really bad at scoring. But he's doing the things that that they need, like passing to the right person or bounce. Like he, they won the game by Westbrook, uh, Russell Westbrook. He blocked a ball and then pushed it off, bounced it off the opposing team player. And then it went out of bounds. So then it became their ball. Mm -hmm. Like he, that's so smart. He was like, Oh, I'm a bounce it off him. So then it's our ball. Cause it touched him last. He passed to the right person. I think the three or four times in the last few minutes, like if he can't score and like got, you know, pass the ball to who is open, you know, cause people you're, you're supposed to be pulling people away with your, you know, defenders. So, you know, throw the ball to other, someone else if you can't score it. I don't know. I think he could do that. Well, I, I don't know what his stats are, so I don't know what his assists are looking like. And they, they, maybe maybe he is actually doing that. I don't know. Do you know the stats? Yeah. I'm curious of that, because I don't, I don't remember him do, having too many, like, good, uh, but let's see. So the, that, yeah, that Nuggets game was really tough to watch because they ended up losing by 30 points. They were not even close to being in it. But you just got to got, keep going. I got really confused because I kept feeling like they were playing the wrong game. You know, I was like, oh, there's a Timberwolves game tonight at 930. And it's just like, why are they showing me this other basketball game? Yeah, I, don't know. I was so confused. I ended up watching wrestling but- because of it, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> See so those. Ant had two assi- or five assists and two rebounds the whole game. Yeah, that's not good. And, yeah, and, and like I was saying, Westbrook in the Clippers game, he had like six offensive rebounds. So he was really helping his team. Like when they'd miss, he'd get the ball back and get them another shot. Yeah. You know, I don't know what's going so on think... with Ant. One of the games, he didn't even look like he knew where he was at. Yeah, it was really bad. Uh, we got Dallas on the. I don't know how to transition oh. it to. Um, into Dallas so here. The Dallas Mavericks had a chance to get into the play in games and they decided to sit their starters instead of play for play ins. Oh, they wanted to tank to get a, a lottery ball for the top 10 chances of that. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. That was a lot of information I just threw out there. Okay. So Dallas, did they make the play ins uh, or nope. did they so they could play for to play into the playoffs? No. They chose to not they all they had to do is win the last game and they'd get the plans. They forfeited it basically by sitting all their starters for the last game to intentionally not win it. So then they lost. So they so they didn't so get the, the last plan. so the last game of the season. Yes. They sat all of their starters because they didn't care about getting into the plans because they are didn't. so bad in the first place. It's the the way that so the, like if they're the, so bad maybe maybe they maybe they just didn't you know maybe maybe I mean didn't they just want their uh, younger talent to get the experience yeah well that's you know that's what so that's what other teams say when they want to tank and get away with it but they had interviews and they were like no nah, we don't we don't care we're not trying to make the play ins you know like they were basically saying out loud we are trying to tank to get a lottery pick you're not supposed to do that you're supposed to like i, I mean you shouldn't tank in general i mean i get it if you do whatever but if you do you shouldn't it's weird to do it like it. so blatantly and yeah, so you, the league find them they should say they should absolutely say uh you know that they're trying to give the like they didn't say that they're giving their no. other players you know, no. like the younger players, some experience. They said that no, we don't want to play. We don't. I'm we trying don't to remember care. exactly what the quote was. There was someone who got quoted being like, "Was there? Yeah, did they get fined or like what? 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 Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars. Whoa, that's it. But their owner's so rich that that's that's nothing. 
That's like I know. I he's remember. investing in getting a better player in the future, I guess, you know? I don't know. It's just okay. weird to get caught tanking badly. Yeah, you, know? you shouldn't say that. Because how many teams tank in the league, you know? It's just funny. Yeah. That's so despicable and malicious. <laughs> and uh I'm not a yeah, fan of it. You should want to you should want to play. So I got uh seven hundred and fifty dollars fined, huh? Uh, another thing in going on in basketball is that Ja Morant and uh, G- Guinness Giannis 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 uh, both got injured recently, and there was one thing in common with their injuries. It wasn't that it would have the same type of injury, or you know, like you don't think, oh, you know, maybe they both broke their wrist or something. No, or, what happened? They both got injured after just the second day of the playoffs. The NBA has seen Morant and Giannis Giannis go down with injuries that were the result of a charge. It will remain to be seen if the league addresses the situation after the season. Okay, so this is something that I've been a little confused about in basketball when sometimes it looks like... uh, you get the ball and you make the drive, and if you just like knock someone over, then then they're in trouble. Okay. Right. <laughs> so and then no. Okay. So what a charge is? It's 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 taking it. It's called taking a charge when you when you, when and you're on the defense, right? So the defense takes a charge. Okay. And the way the defense takes a charge, which causes the offense to get a to get a foul. On the defense, usually the mm-hmm. defense follows the offense by like hitting the their shooting hand or pushing them over, like an NBA Jam. That would be considered a foul. Yeah. Usually, the defense commits a foul to the offensive player. It would t- if the defense is able to take a charge, it's the other way around. And the way they can do that is that there's a dotted line from the baseline, like inside the box. Because so right under, um, uh, right the under, paint, right? Yes, right, right underneath the basket. Yeah, there's a rectangle that goes out, and from the from the base from the baseline of the court to the free throw line, mm-hmm. and in that in the paint, quote unquote, or rabbit ears or whatever, quote unquote, is that the same thing? Rabbit ears, mm-hmm. quote unquote. Yeah. Uh, so uh, there's a half circle dotted line that goes from the baseline to about halfway up the paint almost reflecting like the 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 arc behind the free throw line right yes and so then if the defensive player is able to get their feet set right on that line or right outside that line Mm -hmm. and stand there with their Either they're, you know, like with their hands up and they stand there with their feet set and the player, and then the play, the offensive player with the ball is driving towards the basket and they charge into the defensive player. Yes. And knocks the defensive player over. Yeah. That's a foul on the offense. That's the offense fouling the defense. If the defensive player's foot moves one little bit. And takes that charge, then it's a foul on the defensive player. They have to be set. That always looks so weird and to outside, me, though. And outside that, outside that arch. It just always, I mean, maybe lately, and maybe it's just uh, recency bias, but all those charges look like they're like, oh, if I just get him to move his feet, free free, free, free throw, you know? I feel like this is something I complained yeah. about uh, last I mean, uh, you, you, there's, against the Grizzlies. there's a lot of there's a lot of there's a lot of finesse with with basketball. You cannot touch that that you cannot touch that uh, offensive player one bit. You have to allow them to be able to shoot, and but you need you know you need to be able to stop them somehow. Mm-hmm. And how, how do you stop a charge somebody that's uh, driving towards the basketball? Well, you step outside that line and take the charge. Yeah. Which is a very violent move. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, like that's that's not just swiping at somebody's hand. That's that at at a at a certain point it feels like uh taking advantage of the you can't touch me because I have the ball, 
right? And like, I'm going to throw myself dangerously at you. But, no, they're not. Yeah, they're if, not throwing if they move. Them. But if it's the other way, they're the offensive players choosing to, I'm going to try and knock you down, even though I know you, I'm trying to get you to move, but you're standing there still. I shouldn't, I shouldn't run at you because I'm going to get called on charge, but they still do hoping that the person moves to create the foul against the defensive player. Like there's but a, like, there's but a, that the, necessitates that they have to fall over then. No, no. I mean, if you, you, if if you can't move your feet, you don't have a way to like catch yourself from someone charging you. Well, then that's right? where the injury ends up coming in. Yeah. So like the, the way to protect yourself against a charge naturally is to move your feet, which causes the, like the but, violation. But, you, you, but the rule says that you have to be set. Yeah, which means, I mean, more or less, like the rule says, in order to not get fouled, is you gotta be injured. You gotta do. You gotta do something. Sorry. <laughs> you gotta do. You gotta do the the less safe action. Well, that's where the that's where the controversy is coming in, Jameis. That's where the fans are asking. Oh, well, man. should we change the rule? Because that because the rule is you have to be set. And that's what I, that's what I was talking about was what the rule is, man. And then you're saying that maybe we should change it. And you know I'm for it. You know if it's it's going to help uh, players not get injured, mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, you know protecting players' health. I'm fine with that. But then the, does that? But at the same time, does that mean that the what do you have to just step away? I, um, yeah, that's a good point. Like, how, how do you stop a chart? How do you stop uh, somebody that's driving to the hoop? I mean, I can think... you? And then when when, maybe, when and that's where they have to talk about it. I have no idea. Maybe make it maybe make it a different or more harsher punishment for the offensive player who does the charge, because then they won't want to try and do it. I mean, I don't know. That's the best well, I can think of. Maybe they. What if uh, they had the the violation against like using your arms more than planting your feet. Like, you take a charge, you got to get your hands out of the way. Yeah. They, so that they, you're not intentionally trying to, like, interfere with shot, you know. Just take away the uh, the aspect of the rule that you have to have your feet planted. Yeah, make it more about the hands. Yeah. Like, keep your hands away from someone charging you, but, like, use just, your feet just so you like can, a, like, Just not like get when hurt. you're blocking. You, you you can't touch the person. Yeah. 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 What if they did that? Because they should be the, the that player is kind of def is definitely de is, the more we talk about this, just seems more defenseless, you know. And we want to make mm -hmm. sure that they're defended, defending the f defenseless, right? And that's what we got to do. I think so. Any anything else? That's... Basketball related, guys. Yeah, basketball. Looking do, forward. Do we to... have any? Uh, since we. Since we uh, told the fuzz jockers that we weren't calling them out for turning it off earlier, uh, is there Let's any personal now. experiences oh. that we want to uh, add into the in, into any of those stories, or did we already? Maybe maybe we already did. I don't know. Uh, do we want to move on NHL? Yeah. Let's do it. What is uh, slashing? Slashing is um, like that. You know? <clears throat> mm -hmm. The first wild playoffs game was tonight. Actually, it's going on right now. Yes. Yep. And we can't say anything about it because if you're listening live, you should be watching the wild game while listening to us, even though we can't yep. tell you the play by play. They're doing it, though. right? That's the way it goes. Yep. Is this a series? Yeah, it is, okay. it is series. a series of games. Okay. Uh, it started tonight. How many? How many games? Five. I think it's five. Uh, I think. I think they they're like baseball maybe where it increases five seven seven maybe or, like that something like I that th I think or maybe it's I don't know it's something F like that. fuzz jocker you should do some re research for us and look it up yeah yeah uh, do our work for us so no don't don't do our work <laughs> for us you know we're what we're not gonna be paying you and this is probably like not good the first time that we've played uh, the Minnesota Wild against the Dallas Stars in postseason yeah. Right, the old North Stars. Oh wow! Hey, good point. This uh, is this is our old team back back yep. uh, 
yeah. until 90s. So if you, if you, if you weren't Are aware, you the Dallas Stars used to be the Minnesota Stars until... Uh, the Minnesota the North, North, North Stars. Stars. Yeah, that's correct. And uh, they were a beloved team back in the 80s. Yeah, they were beloved regulars. And some... some, yep. some uh, dude, uh, maybe I wanted to say call him a dipshit, but I don't really want to call people names, you know. But this, uh, I was gonna call him an asshole too. Who? But uh, the the person that bought the North Stars, but I don't like calling people names. Yeah, his name was Norm Green. Norm Green is that was his name? Yep. So he like Norm Green bought the North Stars and then changed the name and moved him down to the Dallas, Texas, and called them the Stars. Mm-hmm. Because I don't like it. because it's like they a lone, went, uh, the lone star probably right that's the thing because the yeah, lone star Texas. state yeah. yeah he wanted a bunch of money to redo the Met Stadium or Met Center oh they, yeah. <laughs> yeah and they went they went uh, give him money for that so he's like well I'm gonna take my team and go home and that sounds like something that yeah. recently happened with the Vikings is someone gonna take the team and go home they they wanted to. They were threatening to go to California or elsewhere if they didn't get a new stadium. I mean, so then again, so then we were like, I mean, before the new stadium. Oh, built. well, now we Did since we since we pay, well, we need to pay for more stuff now because uh, the 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 maintenance bills up. But this isn't NFL talk this yet. We can talk fault. about this in the future. Uh, so, <laughs> but the Wild are first. No. They're just no. they're, they're, it's their first wild playoff game. Yep. Uh, the playoff bracket. I had that up on my phone at one point, and I now I put it away. So then I don't, and I don't even know where I put my phone. Um, playoff. So bracket. the bracket is for the West is Colorado versus Seattle, and the Krakens getting their first go at the playoffs this this year. So that's good for them. Go go Kraken. This is a Kraken. Kraken's they first... win, they'll play us. We'll play them next, which will be fun. So then we can have beloved regular Eric Breb um, talk to us and about rivalry of it. Who's the Who's... Kraken playing against? The Avalanche. And this is the Kraken Colorado Avalanche. The very first ever oh, man. Kraken playoff. Yes. That's exciting. And the, the Avalanche, you like to call them the... The Lanch. And I like to call them the Ava. The Lanchers. The, the Avas the versus the, the yeah. Krakens. They were in the Stanley Cup last year, I believe. The Avas versus the Or did the they win? Did the, did the Avas win the playoffs last I year? Think, I think they might have. I they, I don't like when they win things, so I, I ignored yeah. it. Yeah, we and ignored then, it. It uh, didn't happen. And then we're playing the Dallas. Dallas and then... We had the Golden Dallas. Knights versus the Jets. Okay. And the Oilers okay. versus... Uh, L.A. Kings. Okay. Oh. And then on the other the, side, the, the East sides, the Bruins versus the Panthers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Maple Leafs versus the uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. Raffy likes the, the, the Maple Leafs. The Hurricanes Leafs. versus the Islanders. What's that? Raffy is a fan of the Maple Leafs. Uh, Oh, okay. Oh, that's... you know that guy, Raffy. And uh, no. the Devils what? versus the Rangers. Ooh, that's gonna be a big one. That'll be fun. So, yep. So that's the brackets of the reset. That's that's fun. Uh, the hockey's fun again in Minnesota. And oh, uh, my nephew has been playing in hockey. Yes. And they've been having recently. They've been having open ice, and since this, uh, you know, hockey season's pretty almost done. There's nobody going to open ice other than my sister and my my nephew. So they have, they've been having open ice to themselves, and it's really oh, neat. Fun. Really nice. It's awesome. Yeah. Fun. Pretty cool. Pretty pretty nice little you know lifetime thing to add into the. And when and when you're a, a you know a kid too, and and that just feels like we own this place. You right. know, you get oh, to totally. like pretend that and everything. Totally. No, that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Your 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 nephew plays with uh, my nephew, right? I think so. Uh, oh, yeah, they're like on or... the same squads and stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they work to they work together. It's lovely. Uh, I want to do this. Oh wait a minute! No, that's gonna come. Or no, no, that's gonna come later. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so you... Anything else NHL wise? Since we can't really talk about the the wild. No, we're gonna have a lot of wild to talk nope. about. 
By next week, though. Okay, so then let's do the roulette, 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 the roulette wheel. Brovet. Is that what it's called? The roulette. 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 Corvette. Where is the button? Where is it? There's no button for it. Oh, it's oh. Right here. Baseball is fun again in Minnesota. Jameis would have gotten. Man. Jameis would have gotten so mad if baseball we wouldn't so have talk, if we would have just skipped past baseball. baseball like if so we would have just skipped past baseball, then I, I would have went right to like pleasant memory trivia. I bet you would have been really mad. Not to call. Not, no, not I trying to have. call you. Out. I would have been a delight. Oh really? Oh yeah. I mean, I'll talk about the twins anyway. That. Oh. I don't care. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so that's enough for baseball. So on to football. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Twins are in the negotiations with Pablo Lopez for a four-year contract. Almost. Almost? Is yeah, that right? Yeah, I mean, I, they are, they are um, finalizing, and I believe they've already agreed to this. This is, might be old news by now. But Ooh. earlier today, they were in pretty talks. much agreeing to a four-year extension on Pablo Lopez, who has been dealing on, you know, opening day starter and uh, yeah. been showing lots of ace potential. That's cool. He's I like him. So the Twins... Let's get him locked up. Yeah, we got yeah, him locked been, up. Our been... rotation is, uh, for the future looks good and brighter than, man... Dude, the Twins have a, it's actually... It's weird, dude. We got good pitching. Actually, it's good kind pitching. of weird. Uh, if, you, if you're not aware, the Twins are historically known for not having the best bullpen. And, mm-hmm. the, and the bullpen is the uh, pitchers of the team that come out after the first pitcher plays. Yes. And then like they, they relieve. They call, they call some of them relief pitchers. Mm-hmm. Right? They re- mm-hmm. relief relief the and a closer is the guy who pitches last or is supposed to pitch last or essentially but yeah it's amazing to see the twins have better starting pitching and bullpen than the dodgers do right now so uh that's that's very nice to see for the twins mm-hmm. yeah. twins and then the uh they've been playing they've been playing their games uh they played had so many games twins versus the white uh the white Sox. uh there was a up and coming Baseball player named Farmer that oh, I was that I mean, I was not looking. Up and coming. He's a veteran. Okay. Like how 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 many years? Uh, he might be in like his eighth, Sixth. seventh, or eighth season. This is his first year on the Twins. It is. Okay, so as an yes. up and coming Twins player, Farmer. You know, I'd never seen him before, so I, you know, he's an up and coming Twins player. Yeah, we watched him hit a home run, <laughs> and that? he hit a home run. When we were there. When we were there where I got this hat. And, ah, oh, dude, during the Twins, he, like, I'm like, man, he's going to be good for the team. And then during the during the game versus the Sox, he got a baseball thrown right at his face. And, Oof. Uh, Sorry, I was just remembering it. <laughs> no, I mean. It was, hard, it was a hard hit he got in the face. Like, that yeah, it was pitch really bad. was sucking. And it, yeah, it broke well. his jaw. So he's a. Uh, He's recovering, and so I'm not sure. He has jaw surgery and stuff. Yeah, he had surgery, and and I think he was lucky that like nothing was even fractured actually. So like he just needed like some teeth resetting, um, and like he yeah no this is actually uh, he got r- really lucky for uh, how fast and direct he took that pitch. Um, it was 92, I think. It could have been. It could have been way worse. And um, uh, yeah, it. I uh, hope he heals up really good. Um, For sure. But that was that was rough. And you know, there's some other moments where uh, the, the, some of the Sox players feel like <laughs> I don't know. I, I I'm wondering if they might be a danger to themselves and others because. <laughs> so. Uh, uh, one of these games against the Sox before that, we were in extra innings, and we had our ghost runner uh, advance to third and two outs, and Michael Anthony Taylor, our backup center fielder, uh-huh. comes in, lays down a bunt to try to you know run it out and get that that score in to win the game. Um, 
And a bunt is when the player doesn't sw actually fully swing the bat at the at the ball. They they, they put it out to kind of like just kind of tap the ball, uh, and then mm -hmm. it's a it's a strategic it's yes, a st st like, strategic uh, swing. So that's what a bunt is. If you if you've yeah. never heard of a bunt, almost or if like you a heard of it, but it, you, know, you know you probably heard about what a bunt is, but maybe you didn't know what it was. So I just want to yeah. interject. Okay, keep going. So kind of like a little tap to yep. make a little hit down the line away from the yep. defenders. Yep. Um, and the pitcher gets it and tries to field it to get the throw out at first and uh, hits our runner right in the head. What? <laughs> and the ball gets away. Um, he's fine. That ended up scoring our winning run. <laughs> what do they have against us? I don't know. Is that... Um... They also had a, a, some running collision where Buxton... Oh, yeah, like, that's right. Their, one of their players got in the base path or... Buxton was running the base path a little off. I don't know. It's probably their fault because it seems like they're causing a lot of injuries. Have they been doing this to other teams? I don't know. That's we why I'm wondering if they're a, doing it to themselves, we should, too. We should keep an put, eye out. Uh, we should put a pin in it. We're going to put a pin Let's in Let's put a pin in it because we need pin to... Pin it up to the board. We need put to keep pin track the of this. And we're going to wait until we and, uh, talk see to if you. they're doing this to other teams. There we go. Or a if they're pin in it. Put just a pin in it. Just against us because it could be just against us. Uh, they also played uh, the Yankees. So, oh, first the Twins, the uh, the Sox Twins games. They the Twins like they had a couple games against the Sox. I think it's a three game series. We won the series, and we won the series, which means that we won two out of the three. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now we had a Yankees series, and that was four a four game four series game series in the Bronx. Four game series in the Bronx. So in we the Bronx. we traveled all the way over to New York. Yes. To play these New games. York City. Where we historically lose even more to the Yankees than we do in Minnesota. Yeah, to the point where the the the, the referees, since they're not um, uh, robot umps yet, they sometimes will cheat with the Yankees to make sure that the Yankees win against the Twins. Like there's this big rivalry going on, and there's a there's a chance that the refs might yeah. be uh, the umpires might be in on it. And I'll start with Joe Maurer's hit. Yeah, that was fair. Yeah, that was fair. That was a fair I, ball. That, that was a fair Sorry. ball, I tell you. Like that how how many years was that? That was thirty nine like, years ago. Thirty nine to 40, the day. Forty eight, something like that. Okay, so the they said four games against the, the evil Yankees and that we have a big rivalry against because you know in the playoffs we'll play against them and they always beat us too. Uh dude. We started First game. First we game. Started how do we that do that game? How do we, we do? started that game. With a nine run top of the first inning, and knock Bert? their start, knock their starter out. Uh, you know, at like point two innings pitched. Uh, no, aren't normally um, MLB games end maybe with nine runs uh, in yeah, total? We, we started the game with a nine run top of the first, where our new prospect Edward Julian got his first career hit uh, in the majors, and. His first home run in the same inning nice. of, of of this game against yep. the Yankees, and we had yeah, we Joe through, Ryan. We pitching. did batted around and got to the fourth hitter twice. Yes, so yeah, it's pretty good. Nice, yeah. very good. So this is going to be a really easy series for us. Uh, what did what did we end that game with? Well, that game also included uh, back to back to back home runs. From Michael Anthony Taylor, again, hero of the game, uh, followed by Julian, his first career home run, and Buxton all went back to back to back. That was amazing. Uh, that first inning, bottom of the first, was followed up with Joe Ryan pitching a 1-2-3 inning, and he actually pitched a perfect game for 5.2 innings. Wow, that's nice. There was not a runner allowed. Yeah, a perfect, uh, a perfect game. Nothing. Yeah. So that game also ended... Uh, Eleven to two. Uh, Michael, Michael Anthony Taylor hit a second home run in the third inning, but all the Yankees announcers were just happy about Rizzo hitting two solo home runs, and that's <laughs> all they talked about. <laughs> they were all in on that. So that first game was such a pure delight for Twins mm -hmm. fans. And the second game, how did that go? Second game, um. We took an early, no, Yankees took an early lead by hitting a couple solo home runs. Um, mm -hmm. 
and we had a come from behind victory. I believe in the eighth or ninth inning. I think yeah. it was the eighth inning, yeah. top of the eighth. And that was that's two 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 victories, consecutive games, Ooh. one against the Yankees in the Bronx, two. where we are historically cursed, and mm-hmm. the Yankees. Uh, yeah, that was not fun for them, but it was it was a great way to start our first series with the Yankees. It's a new team, so we don't have to worry about this curse anymore. Mm-hmm. It was wonderful. You know what I'm saying? And then put your <laughs> drink your drink and put your glass down. Um, so two games. We sound window. like the rabbit hole this way. Yeah, right. Balls, right? <laughs> <laughs> two games. So we're. Uh, so we're at, uh, we won two games out of four mm-hmm. so far, right? That's, yeah. That's great. And then the next game, all of a sudden, their pitcher is just dealing everything with such incredible spin rate. And, like... Dude, he's doing, he's doing great. Like, that guy, that pitcher was, like... Like, he must be a phenom pitcher because he his spin rate was high and he was throwing the ball hard and getting all of our players out and... Yeah. Like it reminds me of you know the before times when like a lot of pitchers were able to do that, you know the before times not like before COVID but like as in you know before times like you know before uh, Josh Donaldson, is that a name? Yeah, you remember is that, that the guy? right name? Uh, called uh, called the uh, pitchers out for you know using sticky tack to make their their uh, velocities higher and their spin rates higher and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And then remember, there's those, that abuser remember, that. Remember said, those? yeah, yeah, I do that. Here's mm-hmm. how I do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, then he's like, and everybody's doing it. And then all the pitchers are like, oh shit, we are. <laughs> and then the umpire, and then the umpires got together, and they're like, you know, we should have a rule against this because it's not fair for the the game, right? You yes. know, like if it's not fair for the the hitters. You remember? And they that, said that, we there are was going be, to. There start. was a before time that that mm-hmm. was happening, and then they made a rule for not to happen, and it's not happening, and this guy's just really talented, right? Well, the, the part right. of that part of that rule is, is that they... Um, right? Like, they shake their hands. No, well, yeah, no. Yeah, the, the, they they the had of, to make a rule that mm-hmm. the, the umpires now had to check the pitcher's yeah. hands. Yeah, so, the, so the, they're like, well, and it's not like they, you know, just check the talented player's hands. They check everybody's hands, you know, before yeah. they go and, on yeah, the mound and then off the mound, right? Like, that, that's the that's how they do it, right? I don't know. Yeah, so the rule... They're, they're so, supposed to. They, they do, right? That's the rule, right? Well, they, they, they can do it to their discretion. That's the uh, thing, though. They don't have to every time, but they, they mostly do after every uh, inning. Yeah, I'm not just, uh, talking semantics. Yeah. I'm not talking semantics here, guys. I'm just talking about, yes, like, you they, know... They like, have that, the ability the, to do that. That's yes. the rule. That's that's they is that yeah. they check the, the pitcher before they go on the mound, yes. uh, uh, when they get out of the dugout, and then they check the pitcher when they, you know, when they... Leave the mound to make sure that they didn't put sticky tack on yeah. their hands. That's the rule. That's all I'm asking. That's the yep. That's the rule, right, guys? That's the rule. This part, I mean, there's, 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 yeah. What? I don't know the whole rule. No. <laughs> Is that what <laughs> we're saying? No, rule. I'm just, I'm just clarifying to the fuzz jockers that don't watch baseball all the time that there is a rule that was made, and oh. the rule is that they check the pitcher for sticky tack. So what's going to happen next isn't like. Whoa! Why are they doing that? It's 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 because it's the rule. Yeah, setting so, up the stage. So, sorry. So the so this pitcher, what I'm saying, and I was being facetious. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I was being very. I was trying Wait, to be. I was trying to send be, something up. So the. I was trying to be sarcastic. Okay. I was trying to be sarcastic. So, but it yeah. So the the pitcher comes off the mound because he's throwing these fucking fastballs and like throwing like like before times before they had the rule where everybody was using sticky tack and the umpire touched his arm or his wrist and he did have like some substance on his Mm -hmm. arm yes and the pitcher was instructed to to wipe it off wash his hands yep because you're not supposed to use substances to make the ball go faster yeah because we made a rule about it yeah right yeah yep and then, so then the next inning happens, and he comes out of the dugout to go pitch, and the umpire goes ahead and checks to make sure he wiped it off because the umpire told him to wipe it off. Yeah. Right? 
and mm-hmm. did he? Uh, I don't know. The umpire's like, hey, what's this? I told you to wipe this off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he didn't. Yeah, he didn't do it really good. And they chose to... I just... This is the thing they, that really so gets then, me. So then they, they kicked him out, right? The, that's no. the part that they, is they didn't really let bad. him pitch, right? They, because they because he obviously is throwing the ball real hard and obviously using sticky tack because the umpire just twice <clears throat> saw that he had sticky yeah. tack. And the decision what was what was it? They decided to let him play, continue playing. Which is because this is what they said. I watched the, the presser of or the the guy who was interviewed, the crew chief umpire. He said because it was rosin, which, which is, is allowed, legal. but yeah. it was a massive amount of rosin, which is not allowed. But because it wasn't a banned substance, they gave him the chance to keep playing, which I find kind of bullshit because it's like, what's the point of you telling him to stop and not do it? If you're going to let, like, if there's no, oh, if man. you tell him not to and he comes back and still does it, what's the point of telling him not to if you're going to keep letting him play? Like, there's no punishment. What the fuck? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And so then. And they even, crazy. like, had I, to, con- like, the would... umpire, after talking a second time and saying, you got to wash your hands, don't use rosin in the dugout. Use rosin provided on the mound. You know, and then, like, conferred with all the other umpires like and and you know there's a whole meaning about it and whole whole delay of game and, you then, know? and then they let him play yeah with so seemingly no decision made and then that didn't make Rocco happy man Ro- Rocco our manager I would think would be flippid yeah right so yeah. so he so, so he started uh yelling at the umpires and telling them this isn't right you know, yeah. under protest, and then they end up kicking him out. Yeah, Rocco got ejected because oh, he called them out on like <laughs> what? So you you hold this big meeting and and make a non decision. Cool. And, and this was Rocco's response after the game. How surprised were you that you were asked to leave the game and not him? I wasn't going to go out on the field and return to the dugout. So. Yeah, he yeah. went out on the field, yelled at the he umps, knew. and he knew he wasn't gonna. He, he was going to protest until he got kicked out because that's not right. That's that's not right. So then, yeah, the the Yankees won that game on a protest. Yeah, we, like we were under protest. But you know, Rock was saying that also. Should I do the next soundbite? Oh, I should have done that one first. I okay. think uh, we have a lot of talent. We, we got great brains in the front office, and we got that dog in us, and that's a great combination for success. Yeah, and that dog in us is Rocco, right? Rocco yeah. our dog. Rocco the dog. <laughs> I like it. And the whole team. It's yeah. an, this is a new team. And then the four. So yeah, this... we, and then we ended the four-game series. Uh, it was a, a really good pitching duel. Uh, mm-hmm. Pablo Lopez, our number one, against their number one, uh, Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole. Um, and unfortunately, he gave us our second complete game shutout in less than a month of the beginning of the season. Actually, the only uh, complete game shutouts pitched this season have both been against the Twins. Hmm. Aw. So, I mean, Garrett Cole was on and... Uh, yeah, Lopez is, was on, too. He likes that sticky stuff, too. So Lopez was <laughs> on, too. And... Um, I think kept him to two runs. Uh, yeah, and uh, Lopez still pitched really well, and and everyone played really well. Our bats were just quiet and couldn't do anything against Garrett Cole. Yeah. But to walk away from an away series with the Yankees splitting a four game is better than any Twins fan could have hoped for in the last, like, decade. Of course, honestly. sure. Yeah. And we're still on a great start to the season, and man, does our next few stretches and honestly the rest of the season look like cake compared to where we've been so get ready get ready because twins gonna light up boston that's what we're doing tomorrow yeah that'll be great uh we got cody uh cody bellinger is back (laughs) and uh back with the dodgers i i hear that he's in he was spotted in la Yes, he Walking visited LA. LA with the Cubs. Oh, with, he the, plays Cubs. with the Cubs now. He yep. plays with the Cubs. He's a Chicago guy, huh? He was. Yep, was he walking in LA? Yeah, his. Uh, was he walking in LA? 
<laughs> yeah, he was walking all around. He just no, walked by my house. Nobody that walks morning. in L.A. Well, that must have been great uh, just for the fans, anyways, to see him see him again because you guys haven't seen him in a while. He's a nice guy, right? Yeah, yeah. it was actually really cute because he came he he came back. They played a video package before the game for him, and everyone was like responsive to it and loved it. And then when he came up for his first at bat, he uh, got a you know round of applause, the standing, a standing ovation. ovation. Yeah, that's very cool. wonderful. Oh, awesome. And uh, the umpire rang him up on a pitch clock violation because of his him taking in the oh. moment of the yeah. That's right. It doesn't matter who you are; you still have a pitch count to to, to deal with, right? Honestly, and, well, though, if you see it though, he literally he's his head is turning at eight. Like he's just he's just about to do it. And they use pitch clock violate. He walks out like instance. Like I mean, you could have maybe given him the extra half second because he was pretty much ready. But nope, he didn't give him it at all. He gave he called him up, rang him up on it instantly. Wow, maybe that's the biggest yeah. case of the ump show I've heard of. Well, that's a good. That's a good. Maybe that's a robot ump. <laughs> yeah. You know, uh, there was also another funny moment where uh, he caught a ball that would have been a home run. He prevented a home run from the Dodgers and. Uh, when he caught it and came down, the crowd was booing him because, you know, he's not playing for the Dodgers anymore. And he he's walked around, put his arms out like, what? What did you what do you want from what, you, what am I supposed to do? Oh, and and then good. the crowd started kind of laughing yeah, and applauding cute. as well as like kind of booing a little. But they it was very funny because they, they booed really loud. Then he did that reaction and they all started like kind of laughing and clapping along. with oh, that's, so, yeah, that's a, cute. Yeah, he was mm-hmm. funny. That's fun. That's really yeah. fun. Oh, what else? So. What else is going on in MLB? Tigers, the, the Tigers, oh. Detroit Tigers. Yeah, they had a player. What's who, his name? Javier um, Baez. Yeah, Javier Baez, who's very, you know, well-known veteran in the game, uh, was pulled from a game the other day because he he ran the base path badly, or like he he didn't realize what out it was. So what happened? Like. Why was he running a certain way? What was the well, play? First, what was the play that happened that, so, that he was running on? So first it was he he hit a I think he hit a ball and he thought he like thought it was a home run or something and didn't hustle and almost got out or something and so he was like already kind of like fucking around. Then okay. when he's on base, the got uh the batter hit the next batter hits a ball that gets caught in the outfield and it's only one out. And he proceeds to keep running. When, like, as when if he's it was supposed two to, outs. like, when because of the pop out, he's supposed to tag back to his base. Yeah, exactly. He's supposed to tag the ba- but he just kept running. And then, like, he gets to third base, turns around, and is like, What? I didn't know. Oh, and they, they throw it to the bag he was at, and he gets him out. Yeah. So, and then, so he got pulled from the fucking game. The coach was like, You're done. Get, get out. Dude, Go that's away. like, that's what happens when you play RBI baseball with your friend that doesn't know how to play the game. <laughs> right and they just like run to third and you're like dude what are you doing and like yep. you know those early games they wouldn't let you run back if you already passed the base <laughs> you're in. Yep. yeah yeah it's, it's very funny though it happened to like a i don't know a perceived <laughs> a player, player who knows player. what's happening does not yeah. realize what's fucking happening it's kind of funny dude no yep. he figured it out though he feels bad he, yeah yeah <laughs> He's made very up for very it. weird circumstance though, but he's I'm sure he'll not let that happen again. Anything else in the MLB? Um well I did see some unfortunate news for our twins single A team. Cedar well, Rapids Colonels. The Cedar Rapids what the Cedar Rapids Colonels are the twins. This is our single A affiliate that okay. is down in Iowa. And okay. uh recently their down stadium Cedar, Cedar Rapids. Iowa. Yeah. Okay. Recently, their stadium stadium was uh, vandalized Ooh, by someone. Um, the there was a uh, a game postponed uh, on the same like the day after, but that was due to rain and not because of the vandalism. I'm I'm not sure. I think there was some glass broken in a gift shop. Um, suspect was found because he did post uh, r- himself running the bases on Snapchat. Um, so he's he's apprehended and. Uh, but yeah, that's some unfortunate incidents. Yeah, that's not cool. Yeah, don't don't vandalize you... stuff, kids. Yeah, a, a minor league <clears throat> team. Come on. Yeah, I mean, what did they do to you? I mean, even if they did something to you, don't go vandalize their yeah. stuff. You know, just you know. Yeah. Just 
you know, yeah. don't the do silly that. Silly thing. We do. should go down to Cedar silly. Rapids and silly. go watch our hot prospect down there, Emmanuel Rodriguez, mash. Okay. Because he's playing single A. And that's just down in Iowa. Yeah. Did you do the monster mash? Bad. Yeah. Maybe. You know that? We should go to the Saints game. All of them. All of them. All of them. Let's go to all of them. Where's Wichita? That's where the wind surge is. Kansas. No, that's too Are far. you ready for some football? Football time. Mm. Is that, are we ready? Because they, Are we ready for some football? That's what the, I, the, the sound topics, sound thing <laughs> says. Um, ready for it to be time to talk about it. I'm not ready for football, though. I read. I saw the draft is ten days away. The draft is ten days oh, away. Man. I believe people are getting is excited. That right? I think. C Dubs. Did we look that up? Did we? Is that ten days uh, away? I mean, it, I actually, it it, someone I, told me. I mean, if you, it depends on when the the, the fuzz jockers are listening. Yeah, it could be like tomorrow. Yeah, it's so, not a good way to 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 say when things are. But it, 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 if it is tomorrow, that means that you are a week um, behind on mm-hmm. the podcast, which is fine. You know, that's cool. It, that's, that's that's totally fine. Um, but maybe because this happened three years ago when you're listening. It could have. Know. It really could have. I mean, I don't know the math on 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 it, and I don't really know about time dilation a whole lot. But Dude, I, I, we can look into it. It's we, actually us listening in the future, three years in the future, putting together our clip show for the Twins winning the World Series for the third year in a row. Dude, that'd be dope. <laughs> and it's us in the future listening. Wouldn't that be dope? We'd have to take that clip. Remember that you said that, <laughs> yeah. so we can so we can uh, put a pin in that clip. Put a pin in that clip, okay? Penny. Let's put a pin in it. Pin it up to the board. Put a pin in the topic, and then we're going to wait until we t- actually talk to you. There we go. A pin in it. Put a pin in it. <laughs> uh, the Rogers deal is going on. Um, it's uh, still going on, right? We want to talk a little bit about the Rogers? Yeah. Oh, I'm not sure. Well, I know Aaron anything. Rogers' deal that should have been done a month ago is still up in the air completely. Because he's, a, he's a that's main oh, no. main quarterback for the Green Bay Packers, and is he doesn't want to play for them anymore. And, right? Yeah, he's supposed to have been traded to the Jets, but oh. they haven't agreed on the terms still. And it's so open ended that the Tennessee Titans have recently reached out to try and trade for Rodgers, because since the deal's not done, they can do whatever they want. Oh, it's getting weird. Like. Because Rodgers apparently is being a big stinker about it, I guess. He did not sign an extension with the Packers. No, that was an article from last year that uh, you're thinking of. Okay. I saw that too. And oddly enough, I had it come up in my news saying it was written two days ago. So I wonder how many people are getting that floating around. That's why I posted it. Who knows what happened? Um, hmm. Dude, what if... I think Aaron Rodgers might be uh, a clone Man, I don't know. What if? I don't know about that. Uh, he is a clone in a movie, actually. There's a movie out there. <laughs> Whoa! That, yeah, honestly. Did I invent that no, movie? No, 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 no. That was Tom Brady. What if they're clones of each other? Uh, the premise of the of the movie, uh, spoiler alert, um, is that the you go to this rejuvenation um, place, yeah. right? They get rejuvenated, and Tom Brady comes out of the place being rejuvenated, and then you realize that it's actually a cloning place. They clone you, except it goes horribly the, wrong, with, and you get an error. And then they mattress. kill your old self, and then your new self is the is the better self. And then they cl- kill the old self, and then your your clone thinks that it's you, and walks out rejuvenated. We've perfected the cloning process, with the one caveat that you will not go to the Super Bowl. <laughs> We all know what that Got sound it. means, or what this jingle is. It's time for the Fuzz Question of the Week. So the Fuzz Question of the Week is when I ask the Fuzz Jockers a question, and then they answer the question with a answer. Mm-hmm. Right? I know it. Mm-hmm. And the, 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 the answer can be whatever they feel. Um, we're not going to discuss what the... Um, why they feel that way? We'll just uh, move on. Okay. Uh, what? What? Do you, what? Do you, what did? Um, what did Dandy say? It was uh... explanation without extrapolation. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that? Or no? Ex- Wait, right? Yeah. No, no. No explanation with extrapolation. Extradition without sedation. I don't remember. Okay. So the fuzz question of the week is: 
if you could go into a place that could re vitalize you know after hearing the premise of that movie and just mm -hmm. pretend that you're in that world mm -hmm. would you do that would you revitalize yourself by cloning yourself and then killing your old self and letting the clone think that it's actually you because it actually kind of is since it has all of your memories you know would you rejuvenate yourself you know it's kind of like a fountain of youth almost c-dubs sure why not fuck it James. Oh, yeah. And that was our... Buzz question of the week. Okay. There we go. So, we know a little bit more about each other. Uh, let's move on. Open wide for some soccer! Soccer time. It is. I thought it was other sports. Don't we have the... It's coming, don't well, that's, worry. That's coming. Oh, that's coming. You oh, don't sorry. worry. It's soccer time. LAF, oh. LAFC has been doing grandly. Right? Is that rhyme? Mm -hmm. LAFC. <laughs> I, I've been working on my rhymes lately. I don't I don't know if you guys noticed, but that's good. LAFC has been working <laughs> has been doing I don't remember how it went. I only <laughs> do it once. That's, the inflection that's the other sells thing. it. Yeah. Like uh it. got some LAFC news, guys? I do. Oh, yeah. uh, the LAFC. LAFC beat uh, the Galaxy, LA Galaxy, in the El Trafico, which is what they call when they play each other, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the first time yeah. at Galaxy's stadium. They've never beat them until this weekend. In all the years of El Trafico, they've always drawn or lost, and they finally beat them in, Man. in Carson. So <laughs> go LAFC. Can you imagine how hard it would play – Soccer in traffic. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dangerous. They don't really, call it really the, traffic. It's called El be Trafico good. because it makes no, a lot of traffic. I mean, we, we literally explain what that means in every episode. Yeah. So listen back. Every, okay. Listen to every single episode because we drop a hint that you can piece together. You guys are uh, ready right? to go to other sports? Oh, I would love to. Ping pong, for sure. Is pickleball skiing? What is the highest level of car racing called? Curly. Other sports? Acro yoga? Agro yoga? Acro, <laughs> like acrobatic. It is a fusion of tennis, ping pong, and badminton. What sport starts with a tip off? Basketball. Basketball. Nope, incorrect. <laughs> other sports. It's a very social game. Fight each other to the death. Like NFTs or something. You have to hit the ball. Other sports topics. So are there multiple major leagues? I went to a soccer game in Dallas, in Paris, in California in England. Go up to a soccer game and be in the supporter section. Teach them how to play pickleball. Why not? Free lessons when I come up. How many clubs can a golfer have in their bag? Tiger, Tiger Woods. Woods. Tiger Woods. Might as well tune out now because I don't have another sports button yet. Okay, other sports. Uh, Jamez watched some Impact Rebellion 23. Yeah. Some wrestling, huh? Yeah, it was when I was trying to watch the playoffs, and I didn't understand how playoffs work. Where yeah, they play there was, two games at the same time on different channels. There, there's two teams, even like two different two different yeah. sports I was so of playoffs that you could watch, and you didn't like going. Did that just happen? Yeah, every day happens. But anyway, because I didn't know how the playoffs work, I had, I found uh, uh, Impact Rebellion twenty three uh, Impact uh, Wrestling pay-per-view they're kind of the kind of their playoffs yeah if you will so yeah you did a good job by finding it yeah i found it and i actually i caught um i did just catch the end of it um and i don't know much about these wrestlers but i i did see a what the um what was the belt the impact world championship uh was on the line between steve macklin and uh champion defending champion kushida and oh. I, I watched Steve Macklin, uh, man, this was a, a classic, like, strong brawler against quicker uh, wrestler who's just, like, Finesse reversing, kind of you know, tons of reversals on everything and just, like, really, one of the most impressive things there would be, like, uh, the bigger guy, Steve Macklin, would come at him with, with a move or, like, a crossbody flying off the rope, and this uh, Kushida could just, like, catch him in an arm bar. Hmm. like mid-air cool and like he would be holding on this arm bar where he's got like his legs wrapped around dude's arm you know and holding his you know cranking his hand in 
uh, hurtful direction. Um, and Steve Macklin would like be able to pick him up, do a suplex, and uh, Kushida could remain holding on to his arm bar through the suplex. He did that a couple times. Huh. Um, wow. But yeah, so Steve Very Macklin, cool. uh, you know, fought hard through a lot of submission. Some, um, something to watch out for and, in the wrestling and world. Took the belt, and then, oh. uh, yep. So Steve Macklin is your new Impact World Champion. Okay. Uh, then the following match was a female, uh, a women's match for the uh, Knockouts World Championship, which was vacant at the time, between Diana Perazzo, um, I forget her nickname. I love her. Uh, and Jordan Grace. Cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and I and I only caught uh, bits of that match. Uh, I was, you know, trying to get a, a child to bed on a school night. Um, but anyway, uh, Diana Perazzo won that. And the cool thing, she... so so Diana Perazzo is now your Impact Knockouts World Champion. And what's cool is that Steve Macklin. And Diana Perrazzo are married. Oh, so they're Aww. both champions yeah, and they're married. Yeah, husband and wife. That's great. Just both won belts That's on awesome. the same pay-per-view. Good for them. Congratulations, That's guys. Great. Yeah. Do they get I married like at, the, at the event? No, they were already married. Okay. Okay. Well, that would have been even <laughs> yeah. more... Uh, go ahead, see what, what were you saying? I, say I like I like Perazzo. I I was surprised she hasn't been champion previous to this, uh, or she has, but not like until re until this event, because mm-hmm. Mickey James has been the, their champion. Who I love Mickey James, but she's I don't know. I kept thinking she, she she's getting older that she would drop the belt to someone younger, and she kept beating everyone and beat. Perazzo a few times in the lead up to this, but then she got injured and had to vacate the belt. That's actually how it got open. Hmm. So uh, it's it's great to see that she finally won it, though, because yeah, she's a really talented wrestler and should represent, you know, the, the league like Impact. She's a great choice to be the champion. So yeah, that's awesome. So that was that was a fun uh, random wrestling. Uh, you know, I hadn't seen any current impact, you know, promotion before, so that was neat. Um, that is that's, that's great because we don't talk a whole lot about uh, the other wrestling, so a whole lot. That's yeah, nice to they're fun. Um, remember that there are other wrestling uh, wrestling companies other than just AEW and WWE and New Japan's been going. New off. Japan's been going off too. Yeah. Uh, in AEW news, I don't really want to get into it a whole lot. Uh, because a lot of it's rumors, but it's sounding like possibly that uh, they are going to have a Saturday night show, which would be really cool uh, because they have a lot of wrestlers that are uh, not getting a whole lot of airtime, and having a third uh, a third show on 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 the air, which sounds like possibly will be a two hour episode. Um, that would be really that would be really awesome. Uh, along with that possible sp- news, uh, sounds like CM Punk might be coming back. But like I said, all of this is rumors, so I don't really want to. T- I don't really want to speculate on it a whole lot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, we'll see it when it happens. I mean, I'm excited to hear that there could be another uh, week week show that seems to bode that they're doing well. Um, but yeah, uh, we'll we'll see when they when they announce stuff, and that'll be cool. Uh, this was going to be the fuzz, uh, fuzz jock question of the week, but I, I decided that we should probably extrapolate a little bit on it, um, instead of just saying yes or no or whatever. But yeah, uh, the 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 one thing that I wanted to just mention about this whole CM Punk thing was that a lot of the rumors, you know, like we don't know what's going on and what we read on the internet is true or not, or if it's just fan fiction or if it is wrestlers putting out fake news or if it's kayfabe or if they're putting yeah. out, you know, like even what s- they do put out or if they're it? just actually being assholes and gaslighting people. Like some of the posts are saying the one thing that keeps on coming to my mind is that, uh, most of the reports are talking about how, uh, CM Punk is possibly, uh, saying that he's willing to work with the young bucks right after all all, after all this time has gone by he's willing to work with the young bucks and correct me if i'm wrong it sounded like he was the aggressor in the whole thing where he's the one that threw the first punch and punched somebody yes correct Mm -hmm. 
like the young bucks came into his office to say stuff you know say whatever they're saying about whatever and then but he lunged at them and struck somebody who in the right mind thinks that it's okay for the aggressor to say you know what after i punched you i'm okay to work with you uh, you yeah. know, you should, you should, you know, accept, you should apologize to me, actually, is what it sounds like he's coming off as, right? Am I wrong with this I, thought no, I totally think that's fair to say because it sounds like they don't want to work with him, so that... And then he's coming onto least... the internet and saying, or whoever is reporting all this stuff is, is saying... He's willing to work with them, but they don't want to come to the table and work with him. Oh, so it's their, it's their fault to? that they yeah. don't want to work with him, even though he's Listen. the one that punched them. Yeah. yeah. No, that's not. Does that make that's, any that's... sense to you? No. I mean, I understand, like, you know, you know, being being better men and, you know, and accept, you know, accepting an apology to, from oh, Punk. Man. But Punk needs to apologize first to them. And then. Oh, yeah. And then, 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 you know, an apology can happen, but like, it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, why, why does an aggressor think it's in his right to say that it's their fault that they can't work together? Yeah, I don't know. CM Punk also seems like classic, like I'm kayfabe and you know, when it's convenient and I'm going to fucking not, I'm going to be an asshole and then just be like, oh, just kidding, bro. You know, if that, you know, uh, just kidding, bro. It's kayfabe. That, you know, uh, and always be able to like rely on that. 100%. That 100% reminds me of somebody that I used to know that would say, Oh, no, uh, my ro my racist jokes, they're just jokes. Yeah. Oh, I'm just joking. I'm just you know, joking. I'm not being serious. Like, you're not going to say that until someone has an issue with it. Right. And those, yeah. So who knows? Uh, but that did give me the idea that. Um, what if what if this new AEW show on Saturday is just like they have to do the uh, the kind of a roster split and be like, all right, Saturday is just all the people that will still work with CM Punk. <laughs> you guys can have Saturday, <laughs> you know, because no one else will work with them. That's kind of what it's sounding like. <laughs> like they have. <laughs> Maybe it's not that they're doing so well; they need a third show. Is that they have to have a third the show locker room to split? Yeah. It. <laughs> you know maybe it's just to fulfill a contract yeah you know it's like okay i guess and so then that's some of the rumors is it that is jericho is, so that's part of the rumors is that jericho is willing to work with punk on a saturday show while everybody else is split yeah that's that's what all the rumors wow. are right now yep but okay well i hope we get to see some cool wrestling at least that'd be nice right We'd hope so. Yeah, people like it. I and like it, the wrestling. Yeah, all of it. You know what else I like? We'll see what happens. Stuff. What? I like trivia. Oh, oh wait. How does this song go again? Oh, yeah. Memory. It is Fuzzy Memory Trivia Time. This is when I ask the Hess a question, and then they answer the questions with a the with a, with an answer, and it has one answer only because it is a trivia question, and then they get a point. Did we? Oh man, did we write no down points. the points from last week? Oh, no points maybe. were given. No yeah, points you didn't were given. Give us any points? What do you mean? Yeah, you kept them to yourself. You didn't yeah. give us any. Even though we didn't get the answers right, you still could have given us one. Mm -hmm. Is that totally how, true? Is that how that worked? Is that is that really how that worked? <laughs> no, uh, we didn't get any right. We were not given any points. Uh, you weren't given any <laughs> points because you didn't have anything right. <laughs> I, think, I thought you were saying that I was like I forgot. Okay, so the so the answers is zero 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 zero. Uh, everybody, yep. there was zero. Yep. Okay. So I'm looking up the questions. I wanted to. I was gonna do a Chat GPT trivia question list, but whoa, it's not loading right now. Okay. AI is currently down. Um, how many sports were included in the 2008 Summer Olympics? Twenty-two. 13. Incorrect. Twenty-eight. Oh. 
A sporting event is held every year on Memorial Day. What is it? A Rose Bowl. Uh, the Army Navy game. Indianapolis 500. Oh. Oh. Ooh, what's this one? Basketball player Scotty Pippen mm-hmm. has a word tattooed on his forearm. What does it say? Pippen. No regrets. Pip. Ball. Close. <laughs> How old was Tiger Woods when he won the Masters? 18. 21. 21, correct. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, I got a point. Yeah. Um, Did he give you a point? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. One point. One point awarded. It. it was like, how dare you ask if I gave him a point? How much does an NFL football weigh? 13.7 ounces. Two ounces. One pound. That oh, is, wow. You know, you know how much that is in ounces? It's probably 16. Uh, what team is considered the oldest in the NFL? Chicago Bears. The Chicago Bears. <laughs> Green Bay Packers. <laughs> oh, oh man. <laughs> Which basketball player was Michael Jordan nicknamed after when he was in high school? Post Malone. Kareem. <laughs> Magic Johnson. Oh. Come on. Yeah, I knew that. Who was the first major league player to pitch a ball over 100 miles per hour? Nolan Ryan. Ding, 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 ding. And James gets a point as well. And that is the oh. end of... Oh, wait. How does this song go again? Oh, yeah. No. Look at that. Oh, man. How about that, huh? That's that's history what about right that? there. We, it is recorded in time. Well, I can wipe it off. It has been scribed. I, uh, I, I wrote the... Oh, C-Dub's Thank got, you. C-Dub's got a notification. Thank you. Thank you for yeah. giving me a point. All right. C-Dub's you okay? Is everything yeah, okay? My, my work emailed me something. Oh, the Dodgers. Wait, wait, wait. Not just the, yes, the work. Yes, the Dodgers just sent me an email. Do they, uh, do they uh, have... The president just called me. Is, is, uh, do they have some like, special news for us? Maybe it's no, it's the work. What I have to do tomorrow when I go in, I have to work at 6 a.m. tomorrow. So, I have a question well, that I forgot to ask about what, basketball. What did you ask? What did you need? James, so you guys, I got a question oh, for y'all. Should we rewind? Yeah, my friends, well, I don't have the rewind button. I need to get the rewind button back on. Well, my friends, so, um, I heard something that uh, play ins games played during the play ins, those stats do not count towards the season stats. Correct, correct. I also heard these games do not count towards the post-game stats. Uh, or post-season. Post- post-season stats, correct. They are their own set of stats. What is that? What is that? Why are they magic games that live in their own void of Statsville? Do they even... I have no clue. I thought that was weird, too, but yeah, I don't... Just put them in the postseason. I mean, I guess that's... Do they keep track of the stats, or do they just like not even keep track because they don't care anymore? I I guess they do, but... They must be in the limbo of being in the play-in stats. I suppose not not... all teams are going to play in the play-ins. Yeah. And not all teams are going to play in the playoffs, so why not just include them in postseason stats? I think think there's some... There's a couple extra games. That's some gatekeeping, if you ask me. They should have the (laughs) play-in stats as well. Yeah. That's what I think they should do. But you know, other, other games expand their playoffs all the time. They're expanding playoffs. They're expand, expanding the the <laughs> postseason stats. So just think, yeah. The NBA wants to do their own thing. They don't have to be like. Yeah, I don't like it. I'm against it. It seems like I'm it. against it. I think those are postseason stats. Uh, I no, say those are postseason Charles stats. Charles Barkley probably would uh, say no. Oh, you're wrong. I still like Charles Barkley. Actually, Charles Barkley <laughs> brought that up. Then I don't. Oh, I, I think he's probably on your side with it now. No, now that I think about it. Well, I like Charles Barkley. You probably agree with me. And then Shaq might not be on your side. Oh man, I don't want to hang out with him. Maybe. Okay. Well, <laughs> probably not. I'd rather well, the hang next out episode with, with Charles uh, Barkley of uh, Fuzz Junk Radio. Oh. oh, we should get Charles Barkley. You think so? Yeah, I would love it. Like, I, I, I just want to hang out with him. I'm not going to promise anything. Don't oh, tune yeah. in just thinking that Charles t- Barkley is going to be here because I can't promise yeah. anything. 
is going to be very unlikely for that to happen, to be honest. Why do you have to go get famous again? <laughs> again? <laughs> You think that he? Do you think Charles Barkley lost his famousness? No, but there was a time where it was like, "Well, you're not the most famous anymore." No oh boy, wait until he hears this on you the know, next episode of Flip and, Shop Radio. And I don't know. There's like a there's like a interim time where you know the spotlight wasn't on him for sure. You know, before he was on the TNT show. Yeah, I guess you're thinking. No, oh, different universes. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah. He was in the Clerks animated series, you know? Yeah. That was fun. Charles Barkley trivia. No, they made fun of him there, and it was funny. Hmm. So he has a good sense of humor. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So maybe. I, I don't know if we can. I like We're funnier than them, though, so I don't know. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. know if you want to hear about that. Okay. So. Um, What's up? Did we do a fuzzy memory trivia? Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 That usually marks the end of the episode. Oh. So, which means that uh, we are going to uh, say goodbye. Uh, but before we say goodbye, say dubs, what are you up to? What are you going to do this next uh, week? How are you, how you feeling? What's going on? I got to finish this uh, homestand. I'm running the ship for the last, for this homestand. So, I'm in charge of everything. So, what does that a even lot of mean? pressure. It's, he's in charge of the Dodgers right now. Wow. Yeah. So yeah, uh, actually I I'm in charge of the staff who's getting everything ready for the stands and stores every day this week. Um I have mm-hmm. to make sure they do their jobs right and make sure I help them do my job right and we get the proper stuff done. So it's actually it's 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 good pressure to have. I actually like this kind of pressure because it's like, oh, I I don't know, I want this. I want to be able to do a good job. And so I'm doing that. mm mm-hmm. Mhm. But, yep, just a lot. So I have to be up at six in the morning and Oof. working hard to Oof. make sure the one of the biggest teams and franchises in America it works well. So I'm gonna do it. See so this one over here is they're doing stuff. They're do, they're, they, they're he's doing in stuff. charge of the Dodgers. Yeah, they're in charge of the Dodgers. He's in charge of the Dodgers. James, <laughs> you, what are you, you gonna I'm, be in charge of uh, the I'm Dodgers in next? Charge are you in of, charge of something like that? Well, I'm in charge of uh, the virtual Minnesota Twins on my the show 23. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> that, yeah, yeah, that's huge. I mean, it's it's going just fine. You don't have to worry about them at all because I put it on easy mode. Oh well, still, <laughs> still. <laughs> um, but then I also have to manage a, a child, and and that's that's a uh, random at times, but usually yeah. mostly fun. Yeah, but a lot of work. Um, <clears throat> looking forward to some Twins baseball, some more Timberwolves uh, playoffs, and some more Wild playoffs. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of playoffs to talk about next week. That's what's on I my sure mind. Sure, hope so. Fuzzy. Yeah. What about you? What am I gonna do? This next mm-hmm. week, well, I'm going to uh, corral in a couple of hests and Ooh. hopefully get. Uh, um, I don't know. I was going to say something. Uh, what I'm going to, uh, I'm, I'm just going to remember if I get knocked down, I'm going to get back up, you know, and keep. Uh, oh, that. Chumbawamba. I don't know. Yeah, we talked about Chumbawamba before. I don't know. You know, I don't know. Just remember that it's a game, and it, if if you lose. There's probably a chance that you can win again. You know, you probably have some friends that can help pick you up too. I don't know. There was, there was, a, there was a theme that I wanted to do with this episode, but it didn't happen because we didn't talk about it. So we'll go oh. our part. We'll, we'll, good, good night. Oh. Why is that not playing? Oh, no. Good night. It's not playing. Good night. No. Good night. Let's just do this. Here, let's do this. Okay. So, yeah. Welcome to Fuzz Jock Radio. You know, emotions are high, intensity is high. You know, it's one game. The next game could be completely different. And so that's why you want to try to continue, you know, no matter what the score is, to you try to play the right way, continue to have emotion, have the, you know, the right intent when you're out there because uh, it does carry over to the next game. Up. One more try. You're not alone. I'm by your side. So.
stand up, you stand tall, don't back down, we won't fall, be a lead. Thank you for tuning in. If you would like to support, head on over to our shop, fuzztalkshop.com. That's F-U-Z-Z-T-A-L-K-S-H-O-P dot C-O-L. Buy yourself a hoodie or t-shirt. We even have mugs and stickers. From all of us over at Fuzz Talk Radio, we appreciate your support.